Hey, this is Trevor Fro, and today I'm making a video about the weather in Oklahoma. It sucks. So right away you can find that sometimes the landscape is draped in white. And no, this isn't snow. No, that would be too simple. It's grass coated in layers of ice. Anything water that's out here is frozen solid. See, I can stand on this. This pool. There's a little bit of water in there. I can see it, but not much. And um, this poor tree here uh, is literally coated in this piece of ice. The roof is covered in that and uh everything cold you can think of this may look like a normal path but no it's coated in a layer of sleep let's let's which lets me slide all on it uh fun for kids who can literally feel the grass cracking but you can also slide Those didn't even get a break. They're coated in ice as well. And also the entirety of cars is. No scratches. It's because it's ice. Anything that can be frozen is frozen. So let's just walk around. And yeah. I can feel tiny pieces of ice hitting my face and then melting because of my body temperature. Let's see what the puddles are like over here. As far as puddles, they're frozen, so you can break them. Uh, but it can support my weight even though I just cracked it. So I'll walk over here and... Gotta keep going. Almost there. <laughs> Looks like the surface of Europa. You can see the air that's trapped under there. Ooh, looks like it's finally cracking and leaking up water. If you try to pick up leaves, you cannot because they're inside the ice. Uh, of course, there are other puddles. These ones are easier to break. The lighter they are, the easier they are to break. This isn't mud, it's dirt coated in ice. So, as you might assume, filming this is rather cold. Can literally walk on this. And uh, it looks like people have drove over it. So, the previously broken ice kind of refuses. There you go. Whoa. That one was a bit more fragile from previous breaks. Let's try this one. There's the first crack. The pig is freaking out. He has snow on him. These ones uh, are very easy to break. But you know, in the roads, puddles accumulate.
This one is kind of medium hardness to break. But there's no water in here because it all turned to ice. Let's see how Oklahoma weather has been affecting this pig over here. The water that was on him has frozen solid. Well, I'm going to end this clip so I can stick my hands in my pocket for the journey to the next area. Arriving at the new destination, those small water droplets from the pieces of ice hit me and then melted because of my body heat. We're just about there. And all the plants are co coated in a thick layer of ice. But I know there to be a giant puddle here that's frozen over before. And it looks like I got lucky and it froze over. I have to keep my eyes more closed because I can feel the liquids in them trying to freeze. But here's the ice. You can see little seams in them where water can come up. But there's plants all under them. Some are sticking up. This place is rather deep. It has a crack from me walking on it. Ice isn't really a major concern for me. As far as it breaking goes, I can just walk onto non-broken ice. I mean, it sucks to get water in your socks, especially water that can freeze within minutes, but you know how it goes. If I jump on it, it cracks a little bit. I bet if I brought a hammer out here, it could break. That is a pine tree up there. My hand is very cold from being outside of my pocket, and there's ice on the barks of trees. This is where some of the weak point is. Here a log is inside the ice. There are the horses. I can see ice on their bodies. Alright, I'm going to end this for the next thing because I'm cold. You would imagine flowing water has a hard time freezing, but... Whoa! It is very slippery on the mud here. Uh, that doesn't stop some of it from freezing. I can quite literally see the layer of ice on this. So, uh, I guess I could pick up a rock or something and smash it. Just hope I don't slip and fall in. Because that would be... Well, the rocks are slipperier. More slippery than usual. Because of the ice. Uh, this looks like an acceptable rock. I can't much feel it. My hand has gone numb at this point. And I've only been outside for a couple minutes. So, here it is. Uh, I can see the ice moving. It's still in that state of like, it can bend. So it's not frozen completely yet. But as you would imagine, it takes a while for it to freeze. A swing is there, coated in ice. Even the spider web has little ice pieces on it. This is frozen solid plants and grasses that I can walk through. I'll show you what it sounds like to walk through. So there's that. Uh,
Most time to experience the warmness of my heater. But on top of my head, there's ice that formed up there. You can even slip and slide on rocks. Alright, well I'm gonna go in and edit the rest of this. Oh, this is so cold. I was looking like freaking Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer over here. In Oklahoma, there are hailstorms, little balls of ice just waiting to give you a nice concussion. Doesn't that make you want to visit here? Of course. What video on Oklahoma's weather couldn't be complete without some of these honorable mentions? The huge tornadoes that like to drop down from the clouds and ruin all of our hard work. Fun, huh? No, not really. We even get spinning whirlwinds of fiery death called fire tornadoes, where you can burn alive and get sucked up and thrown. Very fun. We get 52 tornadoes a year, with Texas getting more at 126. I don't care what you say, we still get lots of tornadoes. Rarely, when it rains, it rains so much that entire cities become swimming parks and you can swim in parking lots. Well, that's it.